Thank you, Gary. I've had the opportunity to travel in a lot of different places. And when you sit down with faculty from other disciplines and, and you talk about your teachers, specifically when I say your teachers, the agricultural teachers in the state of Indiana, we talk about this thing called family and the close-knitness that we have. And you've heard this alluded to from our people that were up here sharing their errors with you. There is no doubt. I don't know how or why or what it is, the closeness that we have. And I think you've seen it today, from this morning all the way through. We make a difference in the lives of the young people that we touch on a daily basis. And I, I hope that just gives you a sense of pride of the opportunities that we have and the dedication that all of you have put in to the success of what we call agricultural education. And there's no doubt because of that, we have lasted that 100 years and hopefully have a lot more to go after that. As we bring closure to the centennial celebration of agricultural education at Purdue University, we would like to give thanks to our sponsors. And if you take a look on the inside of the cover of your program, on the bottom there, you will see celebration sponsors. Chip Perfect was here at lunch and was introduced. And Chip is the founder, co-founder, co-owner, and general manager of Perfect North Slope and sponsor of our luncheon today. Terry Robertson Smith. Terry, would you please stand for us again? Terry is from the agricultural class of 1981, owner of Rubia Flower Market and provider of our floral centerpieces for the luncheon as well as for our dinner this evening. Terry, thank you very much. Would all of you give a Chip was planning on being here with us this evening as well, but he received a call from his daughter that says, Dad, I'm here home from college for a little bit before I take off and head back. And obviously, you know, family. And family's important. And so uh, he uh, said his goodbyes to us earlier here this afternoon. Also, we had his sponsors, the Indiana Farm Bureau Incorporated, Dr. Bill Camp, Shirley Fossler. You saw their names and uh, titles and everything on our slides during the dinner. And also, certainly, as we've alluded to before, the uh, Purdue Agricultural Alumni Association. And again, Roger, we appreciate the support and everything given by the Department of Youth Development and Agricultural Education. So thank you again for all of those sponsors that helped put this event together. I would also like for those members that are here of the Agricultural Education Centennial Celebration Planning Committee. Over a year ago, we sat down and we spent some time discussing and talking what would it take to bring alumni back to this campus, what are some activities and things that we could plan? So with those members that met with us, please stand of our Agricultural Education Planning Committee. Please stand and be recognized. Let's give them a round of applause. There were other members of that committee not here this evening. They were here earlier in the day, but this, when do you find a time to bring us together as a family? That's difficult. The Indiana State Fair is going on. This is the, the, the one of the biggest weekends. Purdue Day was yesterday. And so this happened to be the time. And again, to get the facilities that we had to get, Boiler Gold Rush, so all the 6,000 plus freshmen are coming into campus today and tomorrow uh, to begin their classes next week and uh, or to begin enjoying learning all about Purdue's campus next week. And then the week after that, we have classes. So uh, it, it's been a real treat. Those of you that have contributed to the Centennial History Project. And all of you know what that means. In fact, some of you have responded three times. <laughs> How do I know that? <laughs> because when you go to the website and you look at your Centennial Project, some of you say, wait a minute, I didn't type that. I did. And I will continue to do so until all of you feel like, yeah, hey, oh, that's the way I want it, okay? And so we appreciate those of you that have contributed. If you haven't, we certainly want you to do so. And uh, we will continue to provide information on a website for you. If you'd like to contribute information for that historical uh, information, please do so. The web address has been provided. 
on the bottom inside cover of your program. Now that is a different website than what you have seen advertising, getting ready, register now. It's a different website. It's a website that looks like bookshelves. There's a lot of interesting information on those bookshelves. We have been working with Purdue Archives. A few years ago, the Purdue Archives didn't even exist. And now it has. And we have scanned over 160 different documents. Leon had some of those record books he was showing. You know, believe it or not, we have some of those and they have been scanned. And lots of other things have been scanned and will continue to be scanned until we have exhausted the supplies of information. There are photos there. If you want to see a picture of Chief Little Turtle, there is a drawing of him. If you want to learn more about the history of ag education, the first few years in the College of Education, there is a document, 60 Years of Education. Those chapters from that document on agricultural education are there, as well as a host of other information. The pictures and everything that you saw here, the timeline of the agricultural education faculty is there, will be there. We have today's celebration, the videos, the video clips from tonight's activities will also be on this website. So it is a continual work in progress and will continue to be so as we document the history of agricultural education in the state of Indiana as well as here at Purdue University. So we hope you will enjoy those materials that we have provided. The floral centerpieces provided by Rubia Flyers uh, are here with us this evening. And uh, they are to go to the oldest alumni member at each table. If that alumni member is not able to take the arrangement with them, then it will go to the next person oldest at that table. Are those instructions clear to everyone? <laughs> so Terry, thank you for providing those flowers and everything, and, and thank you for uh, allowing us to take the flower, floral arrangements home with us. At your tables, at your tables, you will have a variety of information. One of those is a document that looks like this. This is our recruitment brochure. In it is a page to fill out of someone that might be interested in studying agricultural education at Purdue University. If you happen to know of a young man or a young woman out there in the high school, maybe it's a grandchild that you say, you know, you really ought to come to Purdue, not only to be a border maker, but to major in agricultural education. We would like for you to fill that out, send it to us so we can make contact and continue to further the relationship that we have with the citizens, not only of the state of Indiana, but also the opportunities to build future boilermakers here at Purdue University. We also have left you uh, more refrigerator magnets, uh, more other information as keepsakes, if you would like. Again, we thank you very much for coming. You have the opportunity to still sit and visit if you like, but uh, thank you and hail Purdue.